misrepresented by the press, is that somehow renewable energy is going to cost you jobs. But I don't know what controlled substance they are smoking, but if I look at the statistics, what I find, if I look at the statistics, what I find is that today's oil and gas industry employment is 2.2 million people. Today's employment in renew renewables, and I'm not talking about hydroelectricity, just renewables, which are scarcely a few percentage, six, eight percent points of total energy supply, is already 2.3 million people, half of which, of course, are in, in farming because they are producing biofuels, but the remaining half are in all kinds of new sectors, such as solar thermals, solar heaters, solar water, etc., etc. And so that's on the renewable side. On afforestation, of course, you would see an increase, you'd expect that, in line with the increasing investment in it. In transportation, because of the shift towards more public transportation, you would see an increase in, in employment. And of course, energy, as I mentioned, there's a, there's a significant increase. Here yeah, we're talking about if, if I mean, this is a big if, of course, but if renewable energy were to be increased to something like 25%, you would get an additional 20 million employees. In other words, 10, 10 times the number of employees we have in oil and gas, which currently provides 50% of the total energy needs on Earth. <coughs> 